Hello and welcome to Training with Tranny. My name is Paul Tranny and I'm going to be taking you through the uh, extreme creative control you have over text in Flash Professional CS5 now. Uh, it's definitely really powerful uh, and here's just an example of it. You know, obviously we have this text layout framework that does lots of things. In fact, I just want to point out that there's probably over about 50 options that are available. Now, uh, I'm not going to go over all of them, but there's going to be quite a few that I am going to go over. So, uh, again, I'm going to jump right into it. Let's just close that out. Let's open up this flash file. Here's our uh, little fitness center. And I'm just going to go show you starting with the very first frame we have this website. All right, as I start to click through, notice that even, say for instance, on this third page, if I double click on this movie clip, look what I have here. Uh, this is an InDesign file that uh, was actually opened. Uh, the InDesign file was uh, saved out as a flash file at FLA, but what happened is it linked up all of these text blocks. So threaded text is in here. And what's meant by that, of course, is if I come in here and edit any of this, uh, it would just go ahead and uh, change accordingly. So I'll just select my selection tool. If I select some of this text, you can see how that moves up. Okay, so that definitely comes through. It's really nice. Well, do we have that sort of creative control in Flash? Of course we do. So let me go ahead and select this second movie clip and I'm going to double click on it to enter its timeline and I'm going to locate this graphic right here. So this is currently classic text. That's what it's set to. And I have this set to classic text just so you can see what the options are that are available for classic text. I'll just minimize some of those. We of course have character, we have paragraph, and fairly standard options here, uh, which really do the job. For the most part, it does what I need it to do. Um, but again, if you're really particular about fonts and your font control and want that precision control, what you're going to want to do is change this to TLF text, which is actually the default in Flash Professional CS5. So I've selected TLF text, and now look what I get. I not only get the character, but as I scroll down, you can see all of the various options. Uh, on and on it goes. Again, uh, could it be overwhelming? Uh, potentially. Uh, but in general, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change one option as I scroll down. I'm going to change container and flow. I'm going to change this multi-line, no wrap. I'm going to change it to multi-line. I do this. Uh, to make you aware of it, because sometimes your text will get cut off, and all you have to do is change that to multi-line, and now, of course, it wraps. All right, let's take a look at some more control that we might want to have in here. Well, first off, uh, maybe I want to have those two columns like I did in that other layout. I'm going to go right down to container and flow. Again, just underneath multi-line, I can change the column number right here, and it's as simple as typing a number, however many I want. Really, you probably wouldn't want four columns in this case. Let's go with two. That seems to make more sense. Looks good, and of course, I can control the size of this box as well. So I could kind of scrunch that up like so. Um, again, whatever I want to do with my layout. And with this layout in particular, I want to break up this text with an image. So I want this image to kind of be up higher, and I want the text to kind of wrap around it. So all I need to do is select this text box, and look at that little plus sign right there. It says, hey, you know what? I have more text available right here. All I need to do, just like in InDesign, just click on that icon, and then you can do a click and drag to generate a new box, just like that. Now you can see the linkage between those two. Again, very cool being able to do this. All right, uh, talk about further control we have with this. And I'm just going to use my selection tool, and I'm going to select both of these boxes. And uh, say, for instance, I want them to be on white. I can change not only the stroke of these boxes, but I can change the background as well. Again, I'm just going to keep this simple, change that to white, like that. I have some issues because uh, this black 
uh, text comes up uh, almost to the edge of the white box, and I might just need to give it some padding. So again, type down here in padding, and I'll just hit the tab key to go through all of these just like that. All right, now sort of each text box has a little more breathing room and it's looking pretty good. Let's kind of expand this out a little more, just a little more kind of like that. There we go. Let's bring that up like that. Uh, it's looking better. Um, I will probably expand this out some too. And what I can always do is still control this text box as well, uh, independently of the one above it, because the left side probably needs to come up higher. And in fact, anytime you see a number uh, with a line underneath it, what you can do is just click and drag on it and see how I see it move over. I can line that up perfectly with the text above it. Again, if you just kind of want to wing it and eye it, you can do that. And again, I can expand that out, whatever I want to do. Uh, so far, so good. My text is looking really good. I like it a lot. All right, now I would like to focus on the headline. So let me just scroll up to this headline right here. Uh, okay, so currently it's not it's not super sexy. You know, it, it is what it is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but even more importantly, if I sort of zoom in, again, I'm just going to hit my Command plus key to zoom in on this text. With this text selected, what I want to do is I want to make sure this text flows really well. And what I'm going to talk about now is what's known as ligatures. So under advanced character control, this is the panel I'm going to focus on, ligatures right here. Uh, again, you might not be aware of this, uh, but just keep an eye on the F and the I, and I will zoom in on that even more. Notice how there's some tension usually, and a lot of times this F does touch the dot in that I, and I want to fix it. I want my text to flow together real nice. So again, I'm going to select this line, change my ligatures to common, and see how it brings those two together and actually makes one character. But this is the control that I want um, as, as a, someone who deals with typography. I want this sort of uh, control, especially with my headline. So uh, all that to say, uh, when in doubt, change ligatures to common, and uh, you probably won't regret it. All right, let me just zoom out here. And let's just take, say, for instance, this second line, uh, these last three words um, more specifically, and know that I can do sort of make that all caps. Whatever I want to do, I have that sort of control. So whether it's over the case, whether it's over sort of the digit case, any one of these options, I can go ahead and control it. Now, I, I really haven't talked about uh, some of the other options, uh, but again, I wanted to point out some unique ones. I, I don't really have enough time to go over all of this, but again, I went over the major ones uh, as far as paragraph. You also, again, have your advanced character control and then my character control in here. All right, notice that I can also sort of rotate my text. Not only here, but I can rotate uh, my text here. And that's my next step. If you are dealing um, with any sort of uh, Southeast Asian languages like Korean, Chinese, um, Let's do retake. Korean, Chinese, Japanese. So let's do retake. So if you're dealing with any sort of East Asian languages like Korean, Japanese, or Chinese, what you're going to want to do is reflow the text accordingly. Now, those languages actually flow from uh, uh, the upper right, and they run vertically, and they go down uh, as they move to the left. So again, I'm just all I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump to uh, say, for instance, this layout, uh, just for the sake of time, and I'm going to select this text box, and this is where I want to put some Japanese text. So I'll show you what I'm talking about right in here in this file. All I'm going to do is sort of just take this first paragraph here, and I'm going to copy all of these Japanese characters. I'll go back into Flash, and again, right in here, in place of this text, I will just paste, and there's my characters. Again, these need to run vertically starting in the upper right. All I need to do is click right here and run vertical. Uh, very powerful being able to do this. 
uh, because it does give you extreme control, not only still with your characters, but the fact that it's flowing the right way. So again, if you're dealing with any multi-language projects, this is going to be really helpful. So as you can see, you have extreme control over text. Uh, it's all there. I encourage you to explore it all you want. Uh, but that's it for this episode, so uh, join me next time. <laughs>